Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this four court film for our 2016 Volkswagen Tiguan. Uh, this is the SE Nav model. It's finished in Atlantic blue, which um, I think is an absolutely stunning colour. Um, even though it's a slightly dull day today, you do get um, some really lovely uh, sort of hues popping out of the um, out of the, the blue metallic paintwork. It is really, really lovely. A real nice sort of inky blue. Um, it's finished with these fantastic uh, diamond cut and gloss black alloy wheels, all four of which are completely unmarked and in perfect condition. Uh, the overall bodywork condition as well is absolutely beautiful. Um, you're obviously going to get a few stone chips, um, as you would expect, uh, but these are um, pretty small and minor, um, and certainly nothing excessive at all. Um, coming all the way down the driver's side, again, no, um, no sort of dense marks or scratches or anything like that at all. Again, all uh, perfect wheels all the way around. Uh, back bumper, again, all the corners and everything are absolutely fine. I think if I was going to point out anything, I would just say that there's a couple of uh, small loading chips and scratches, um, as you often uh, get on, on painted bumpers. Uh, but again, certainly nothing excessive and just sort of generally in line with the uh, the age and mileage. Um, so yeah, all, again, all the way down the passenger side, no marks or dents or anything like that at all. All the mirror housing and everything like that, um, all in very nice condition. One very, very small chip just on there as well. Uh, the glass is all good, completely free of any marks. Um, so all very, very nice indeed. Um, having a look at the interior, again, exceptionally well looked after. You get this um, these really nice sort of sports seats with a kind of quilted pattern on them. Um, tiny, tiny amount of wear to the driver's bolster, but again, certainly nothing excessive. Uh, no rips or tethers or anything like that, um, certainly not. Uh, all dashboard plastics and everything like that, again, all in really lovely condition. Jump through to the back, and I always forget just how huge these are, actually, massive amounts of legroom in the back here. Uh, we've got independent uh, climate control settings and everything like that in the back. Um, we also have uh, picnic tables, or um, they actually uh, work in different ways. You can um, have them set up for sort of like holding iPads and things like that um, in the back or they do actually work as small picnic tables as well which is always a really nice option on the Tiguan. Three proper seats with headrests and everything like that in the back as well but yeah absolutely tons of space in there. Through to the boot area, nice high loading area here and you do have a spare wheel which is quite a nice option to have. Obviously you've got your eyes to fix uh, tethering points and everything like that. Nice and simple to fold the seats down. Just do that from the rear handle. Push that down there. And you actually get almost a, uh, a flat loading uh, area, which is, uh, which is really nice. So ex exceptionally um, practical. Um, and then you've also got um, a, a number of different settings for the um, for the seats as well, so that you can um, have them tilted um, or reclined, reclined quite heavily as well. So all very, very nice. Just jump through to the inside and show you some of the specification that this car's got. Uh, we've got power folding door mirrors. Uh, they're also heated as well. Automatic headlights and automatic windscreen wipers. We also have cruise control on the, ste on the uh, steering wheel here and also um, a lane keep assist as well um, so uh, quite a few sort of nice safety um, procedures on there so the mileage is just shy of 43,400 uh, we've just carried out a full uh, engine service and also a replacement timing belt and water pump as well um, so you've got all your controls up here on the steering wheel the steering wheel itself a nice flat bottomed leather stitched steering wheel sort of sport steering wheel um, you've got all your driving modes and everything this is the all-wheel drive version um, and then you have different driving modes um, dependent on um, on what sort of road surface that you're driving on so we can pop this one onto here off-road sport and one for driving on ice and snow um, electronic handbrake uh, and also hill hold assist as well um, front and rear parking sensors with the park pilot up on here so it shows you uh, which uh, sensors are being used and when. Automatic start stop. Uh, we have dual zone climate control so separate temperatures for driver and passenger and then obviously the, um, the three zone um, in the back there as well. Um, and then in terms of additional specification we have um, DAB digital radio. Uh, this is the, the um, uh, discovery uh, professional navigation. Um, so you get the uh, the larger screen up on here as well. Really, really nice and easy to use, all sort of touch screen and everything like that. Um, and uh, the quite cool thing, obviously, is the um, 
this one basically uh, displays the, the larger screen as you see and then as you move your hand towards it um, the menu appears um, and drops down so it just means that when you're driving along you've got the um, maximum amount of um, visibility for the for the screen and then as you come up closer you can come in here and uh, sort of change all of your settings and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, in terms of the media section, we've got a number of different uh, inputs. So we've got um, uh, Bluetooth uh, media streaming, so you can just um, send music or podcasts, Spotify, things like that, direct from your mobile phone. Um, we also have uh, SD card slots and a CD player as well up on there. Um, but uh, most people, I think, will probably use the Bluetooth media streaming. Uh, we obviously also have Bluetooth uh, telephony as well for, for using your phone. Um, and voice control, a uh, number of traffic reports, and then a sort of setup for the entire car as well. Um, so you can come in and, and change all the bits and pieces um, and, uh, and sort of set the car up as you wish. Uh, come up onto the servicing screen. This is, like I said, we've just done a major, major service. So the next inspection is not due for um, two years or 20,000 miles. Uh, the next oil change will be due in 9,400 miles or just under a year. So that's all being done. Um, and then you get some quite cool things, G meters, because that's obviously a very important thing for in a family car to know how many G you're pulling. Um, a lap timer, again, for taking your family car on track. Um, and then uh, just all other, other different sort of displays and things like that as well, but um, all really, really nicely laid out um, and easy to use. Um, just through looking through the best of the car, headlining and everything like that, all in absolutely lovely condition. There's no marks or stains or anything like that at all. Um, and we get this really nice frameless um, rear view mirror as well, which is a, a very, very nice feature to have. Um, and then just down here, all of your connections for your external devices. Uh, I think that's pretty much it from the inside. Um, we'll just have a, a final look around and, uh, and give you a bit more information. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, if we can help with any further information at all, if you require any finance figures or you have a part exchange to value, uh, then please do let us know through our website, which is jajarvis.co.uk. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help and ultimately love to get you down for a test drive and show you the car in person. Thanks very much again for watching and we'll see you next time.